depravity of a sexual nature? Of course you do! That's why you're in hell! But what would you say- Hey man, what you watching? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Willie, don't scare me like that! I almost dropped my phone. Sorry about that. I didn't know you were so easily startled. How the hell did you even get inside my apartment? Oh, so aren't you supposed to be locked up somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I got an early release for good behavior. Seriously, what are you watching? Oh, uh, I'm watching Has Been Hotel. It's an anime show that recently came out on Amazon Prime. Is that clown looking girl singing while monsters are tearing each other apart in the streets? Well, yeah, the whole show is a musical. Plus, it takes place in hell, which explains the cannibalistic demons. Though most musicals have a more sunny demeanor, all I see is a bunch of violence being tossed at the screen. That's why it's rated for adults only. And when does the hotel come into play? With a name like Has Been Hotel, you would think this cartoon will be a bunch of loser actors staying at a crummy Holiday Inn outside the skirts of LA. Dude, do you want me to give you a synopsis? Your constant questioning is distracting me from the episode. Thank you. That will be much appreciated. Okay, so the show's about Satan's daughter, Charlie, who wants to... Hold up, Satan has a kid? Well, yeah, she's the girl who you described as a clown earlier after you barge into my apartment. Can you let me finish with the summary? Continue. Charlie Morningstar believes that anyone in hell has the potential for redemption, thereby possibly allowing them to one day ascend into heaven. She puts this theory into practice by opening a rehabilitational facility that would... So, not a hotel then. Well, she refers to it as a hotel, but in actuality, it's a place that provides demons the necessary tools to become a better person. Okay, but isn't it kind of mean to call the facility has been hotel? That implies that anyone who stays there is a nincompoop. She didn't come up with the name herself. We have the radio demon to thank for that. One of the overlords of hell who goes by the name of Alistair decides to help Charlie with her endeavors on a whim. He does this because he finds the whole idea hilarious, or so the audience is led to believe. There may be more at play, but I need to watch the rest of the season to learn more. I get where this guy's coming from. Demons turning into angels sounds like something that can only happen in one of those animes kids love so much. But given enough time, maybe Charlie Brown over here can actually get a low-tier demon to grow their own angel wings. Sadly, it's not going to be that simple. There's a sort of time limit they have to contend to. You see, every year warrior angels would descend from the heavens to commit mass genocide across the populace of hell. They do this because it stops the demons from gaining too much power over time. This year, however, the timetable has been moved up to six months because, at least according to Adam, it's too much of a bummer to wait 300 365 days to slaughter demons. Fuck that's some heavy shit. Does she even have anyone at the hotel who's willing enough to be converted into a born again Christian? Yeah, there are a couple of demons who've taken up residence. There's Veggie, who's the current sweetheart of Charlie, the bartender, and a little one eyed girl who were both brought in by Alistair, also Angel Dust. Angel Dust? Are you telling me demons are just snorting PCP while trying to clean up their act? Kinda seems counterproductive if you ask me. Angel Dust is just one of the characters that lives at the hotel. He does so because he's exempted from paying any rent and he can drink all the booze he wants. Oh, so he's a porn star who's maybe trying to turn a new leaf, but there's always the possibility he's taking advantage of Charlie's good intentions. Only time will tell. Cool, cool. Anything else I need to know you may have left out, champ? Well, there's this whole backstory about how Lilith and Lucifer were cast down to hell because they both offered Eve the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Plus, Plus, there's the fact that technically what I'm watching isn't the first episode. You would need to head over to YouTube and search for the pilot that was released four years ago if you want the full picture, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, alright, thanks for giving me the full debrief, but there's still one thing I still need to ask you. Yeah, what is it? Is the show any good? That I can't really say. I would need to watch the full season before I can give you my honest opinion. Just going by the first episode alone, however, I can tell you that I find some of the characters lacking in substance. Most of the time, it feels like I'm watching a bunch of furries either cursing or murdering one another for the sake of shock humor. It just comes across as juvenile if you ask me. But there are certain aspects I did enjoy. Even though I'm not a big fan of musicals, the singing segments were brilliantly put together. The first song where Charlie dances and prances across the streets of hell while bodies were dropping all around her straight up felt like a Disney parody. As Especially considering she's a princess of all things. Also, the premise of the story intrigues me. Can a demon really turn 
turn into an angel through hard work alone? That I gotta see. So C plus then, you give the show a C plus. If that's what you got from everything I just said, whatever, man. Can I live here? What? It's a happy day in hell. Hi, mister. Go fuck yourself. There's an endless trash fire that's burning my soul. Hello. Got a ton of barbed wire to shove in his hole. Uh, excuse me. What is required?